Hey everyone, my name's Auto Master, and welcome to Wuppo. I have no idea what this game is. I'm starting to play new games. Uh, easy. Logger healing. No, we'll play not normal. We can do normal. We can survive. I believe in us. Oh my gosh, we are adorable. Oh. Wum house. Okay, I can't move. I was like, who am I? That's loud. Yeah, here I am again. So, what did you need? Who is this? This is Carlo from the service desk downstairs. Hey, don't play dumb with me. You just called me 20 seconds ago. No, I didn't. Oh, I could have sworn. Wait. Hey, don't try mocking me. You did call me. Calm down. Okay, so what do you need? I want some food. Food, eh? Let me guess. You want to order ice cream? Meh, sure. Huh. As if you did attempt to order ice cream for the last 48,402 times. Okay, well, too bad, pal. Just like the last time we spoke, the transporting system doesn't work anymore. So you're gonna have to come downstairs to get your ice cream. I'm not sure when you left your room for the last time since my last outburst, so I'm just gonna say this. You can move with A and D and jump with W. A and D, okay. Oh, and you can duck or dive underwater with S. See you downstairs. Oh. It's so cute. Am I going the right way? I'm probably not. You have to be inside the elevator to use it. Oh, hey. I haven't seen your face in a while. To which floor would you like to go? Floor one. Okay. I might have overheard your conversation on the phone. And I just want to say that Carlo, the wom from the service desk, might sound incredibly mean, but he's actually a great wom. Since everyone is leaving, Carlo is taking over so many tasks. Without him, the wom house simply wouldn't survive. Okay. I'm glad you understand. I feel bad for him sometimes. Oh, you can use space to jump too. Good. Did I not? Okay, that's locked. So let's go the other way. Where? Uh. Uh. Next, please. I forgot how to do a double jump. You jump twice. It's easy. Next. I hear someone makes paintings here. Do you know where to see them? Lorenzo, second floor. Next. Oh, hey. So you want your ice cream, huh? Ice cream, please. Okay. But, promise me one thing. Still haven't forgotten the last time you ate ice cream. I'm pretty sure you haven't forgotten my outburst. But to be fair, you messed up the entire hallway. Wow, that's wiggling really fast. So please take your ice cream back to your room and eat it there without leaking the whole thing through the warm house. No problem. I'm serious. Don't leave a mess this time. Eat the ice cream inside your room. Don't worry, I've got this. There goes nothing. Oh no, we're making a mess. Um, floor four. Oh, he's gonna be so mad. I'm making a huge mess. I can't clean it up. I'm trying to make it drip on me. Told you not to spill your ice cream throughout the hallway. I can't 
can't. That's it. I've had enough. Guards throw this woman from the balcony. The woman house no longer has room for this kind of behavior. What? I just wanted to eat my ice cream. Oh, my ice cream! Whoa. Am I dead? Oh, that fatty might have some nice items. Hey! Not fat. Sweet. I know I have to be bored again. I don't even care that nobody visits my store. I took my TV and now I'm small? Oh, I move so much. Oh, I actually double jump now. The Wum Garden. What are you? Oh, this is so cute. Dear friends, I have moved to a different location. Some bird wouldn't stop making annoying noises. Okay. Why do I have a feeling I'm gonna learn- Oh, you fit in the chimney. Why do I have a feeling I'm gonna learn to hate this game? That's the safe- Instead of a safe point, it's a safe pot. Saving me. I don't want to be. I don't want to save my. My get. Mm. Oh my god, I'm gonna glitch the game out. Hello. Oh. Okay. Oh, a visitor. Finally, I didn't expect it would take so long before Wums found my new house. Hmm, I don't think I met you before. I am the Elswite Wetter, and I know everything. How do I get home? Hmm, you want to go back to the Wum house, you say? Yes. I will tell you how to do that. But only after you've sat down for a nice story. Come on, don't you? You don't want to miss an opportunity to gain wisdom. Let's go inside and start the projector. Alright, let's watch a video. Do you have any film strips? Well, to tell a story right away, I need film strips. I guess I can give you a film strip for free. Film strip. Open your inventory by pressing tab. Use A and D to navigate to the film strips. Well done. You're wearing your film strip. So go close and... Walk to the projector and click- oh, and click on it. There we go. Oh my, this film strip tells us the very early years of the existence of the world. As you can see, your, our people- so there's four types of people in the world. Our peoples are some of them. Wums are the most intelligent kind, but also- intelligent and ki the most intelligent kind, but also the most lacking in abilities. They are known for, well, you know, we pretty much rule the planet now. Even without any special skills, the Wums managed to become a super powerful race by building and wearing all sorts of equipment. And as you already guessed, we've also been the most fashionable race since day one. Here's a side of a Blusser. Blussers are known for their ability to carry lots of water. They're also known for being the most friendly race. After the Fnacker Wars, they became the gardener of the Wumps. Look, here's a side of a Splen Hacker. The Hackers might not be the smartest race, but they're one of the most practical. They are known for their ability to harvest Splank. Splank is a very powerful material and most of the Wum House is built on it. And at last here's the Fnacker. Blech, I still can't stand those faces. Fnackers were known for their ability to throw up rocks. They were very aggressive and didn't want to share their world with other races. That explains why the Fnacker Wars started. But after the war, there wasn't a single Fnacker left. 
So they all died. Oh, how nice. Um, that was a nice piece of history. Oh, right. Um, the truth is it could be very dangerous. Normally you'd be able to walk in and out of this place to the kitchen, but for some reason that door is locked. You're gonna have to find the underground tunnel to get back to the Wum house. But finding that tunnel could be difficult. Strange creatures higher up in the trees. Um, give you a weapon to defend yourself. Yes! There you go. Equipping it is easy. It's almost like equipping a film strip. Press tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick an item to equip it. Um, gum gum, stuff, anything. Uh, you can use it. Sometimes you find yellow gum blocks. You can destroy them easily with your thing. Awesome. So I basically have gum balls. What did I just do? Okay. What is this? This is water? Oh, that's so cool. You can use it to travel up and down. Okay, let's go destroy the gum gum. Gum gum. Why can't I? Why can't I go any further? Well, maybe I'm not supposed to go that it's just not letting me go either way. Wait, where's the Alswitzer? Can you read the sign? Yes. What does the sign say? The Alswitzer moved because of you. Well, that's not completely unexpected. Our relationship is very complicated. I really tried to be my friend, but I can't help myself from yelling weh every few seconds. He really hates the West, but after a while, I started enjoying that. Hey, what about you? What's your name? Scallywag. I love that name. Anyways, it looks like I'm going to stick with you for a while, Scallywag. I spent a lot of time, so I know many things. Oh, cool. So, I now have, like, basically a tour guide. Save the game. Mm, I don't. I can't get up there yet. I wonder if you eventually get a longer jump. Or. Oh, you know what would be really cool is a jetpack in this game. Oh no. I feel like this is a boss battle. Nope. This person ran away. That's not very nice. Excuse you. Okay. This is gonna be another one of the Kiro Blaster games, isn't it? It doesn't like letting me jump twice sometimes. Oh, you have to jump immediately. You can't save it up. You just have to jump. Okay. So I need to jump all the way up here. There we go. Ooh, mushy rooms. You do nothing when I attack you. Do I jump? Oh yeah, I jump higher on you. Boing! Aw. Oh. Jump, jump. 
Okay, where are we going? This is actually really fun. Okay, there's a save pot here. Why is there like this red icon? Oh, that's my health. How in the world am I supposed to get over there? I'm gonna die. Is this a saving thing heal you? Hmm. I'm gonna try going- Oh shoot, I messed up. Okay, I'm just gonna try going to this new area. So this- little weird thingy is my health which does recharge every time I save I think or every time I exit and enter an area that has a save point all right let's hello yeah. Okay. Y you're what? What else? Yeah, I guess I've been a bit paranoid for a while. You see this pot helmet thing I found stuck in the mud at the sinkhole? For some reason, it reminds me of. It reminds me of Knackers. I know they were all thrown into the sinkhole, but I keep dreaming they're gonna climb back up or something. I mean, nobody knows what's at the bottom of the sinkhole. So what if it's a giant trampoline that bounces them back up? What if they're already here? No. Don't be ridiculous. You're right. A giant trampoline is ridiculous. Knackers have been dealt with a long time ago. We have nothing to worry about. Maybe you should take the pot helmet from me. So go ahead and take it. Yeah, but aren't I just gonna equip it now? Or shouldn't I just equip it now? Yeah. Thank you for making me feel better. You're very kind, Wom. Cool. Warning the sinkhole ahead. Boing, boing. Oh. Is this a boss? actually kind of fun. So I'm just basically spitting constantly. Okay. I'm actually doing okay on health. It's not. It's hurting pretty badly. Oh, does my health recharge over time? Look, my health recharges over time. On, you're almost dead. Okay, so we're, we are playing this on normal mode. Get a 
sinkhole. <laughs> you out of your mind, Scallywag? So, uh, don't go down to the sinkhole. Got it. I wonder if that helmet. Oh, bucket. Can I water some of these plants now? Can I water these little plants? And they'll grow? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Yeah, the rocks roll. That's so cool. All the little detail attention to details are phenomenal. No. Hey. Oh, I almost had it. There we go. We got a film. I'm curious what the film is. Let's go watch it. Oh, can we also now put on the bucket? No, I guess not. Let's go down to his house and see what the film's about. F the Fanker Wars. The Fnacker Wars. Ah, a classic film strip about the Fnacker Wars. The moment the four races set foot on the world, the Fnackers decided they wanted to rule it. Immediately a war started. Tough times arrived, especially for the Wums. They had no way to defend themselves from Fnacker attacks, whereas Blusters could spray the Fnackers away and Splinker Hackers could spit Splink Rocks. The Wumps were forced to use their intelligence if they wanted to survive. After a while, the Wumps figured out a special technique that would lead them to victory against the Fnackers. A Wum called Bert Smolder discovered the brute force combination the brute force bind a combination of Splink and Bluss Water. When a Splink gets a contact with the Bluss Water, the Splink will absorb the Bluss Water and increase in size tremendously. The Splank hackers would split, could spit Splank rocks while the Blusters could spray Bluss water on them. With the power of the combination and the strategy of the Wums, the three races bottled their powers and pushed the Fnackers down the sinkhole, and so the war ended. The Wums celebrated by building the Wum House. The Blusters went to live right next to them in the garden, and the Splankers went their own way, feeling des de de destined to build a theme park. Thank you. Um. <laughs> oh, cool. So I got more health. Uh, he said you gained wisdom, and I'm like, oh, great. But no, you actually gain health every time you do something like that. You do, like, not, it's not a side quest. I would just say it's extra. Okay, let's go through here. Let's go back and see if maybe equipping the helmet will help us when we are getting attacked by the roots, by the thorns. Okay, well I'm going to figure this out next episode, but thanks everyone for tuning in. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and comment down below, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!